So as you know, we have the CT90. Well, actually it's a Trail 90, which is actually a CT200. It's the very first generation of CT90 before it was called the CT90. You can Wikipedia it. And we've been having a lot of fun on it this summer. Just been ripping around all over town, but it's been getting harder and harder to start. It's getting real tired. It's got good spark because I can see it has good spark. I know it's getting good fuel because I just rebuilt the carb, but there is just nothing left of them piston rings. And uh, seeing as it's the very first generation push rod, different bore size CT90, piston rings are really hard to find up here in Canada. I could order them from Wisconsin, but they're gonna be two months away. So what I did is I ordered some chainsaw rings, 47 or 49 mil chainsaw rings. And uh, we're gonna throw them in here and see if they work. I think they're gonna, and it could be fun. And they were $7 and they came here overnight from Amazon. Worth a try. Let's find out how low the compression really is together, you and I. I'm betting you it's like 14 PSI. I don't even know, I've never seen anything that's this low that has burned this much oil before. So yeah, let's uh, find out that really quick and then let's strip off this carb, the intake pipe, the head, the jug, and uh, yeah, give it a little quick hone, little, and put some new chainsaw rings in it. First, we need to take out the spark plug to do the compression test. This is done with an 18 mil socket. Next, we screw in the compression fitting and the compression gauge. These are really simple and cheap and can be found at any hardware store. All right, you guys watch that gauge. I'm gonna turn this thing over a handful of times. Gas is off, so away we go. Wow, 60. 60 PSI, it's hilarious that that even ran because I think from factory, it's like 150 or 170 or something. So that's like, you know, almost a third of what it should have. Let's get tearing this apart and put some new things in it. Let's start by taking off the skid plate. I should mention to you guys, I have this very basic tool set that I keep in my fishing box, my storage fishing box on the back of this bike. Everybody should have a kit like this on a motorbike, even if it's just one wrench and like the four different sockets that the bike uses. Everyone, it takes like three minutes to put together and it could really save you. I mean, it's not gonna, well, no, actually, yeah, I will say that. If you had the piston rings, you can re-ring your bike with literally just this. It's crazy. Motorbikes are awesome. So like I was saying, the skid plate, it's held on by eight bolts, all of them 14 mil, and two of them on the bottom hold on foot pegs. Then we're gonna take off the carburetor and the intake pipe. This is done with two 10 millimeter nuts. Just zip tie it up out of the way and it won't bother you anymore. Next is the exhaust and same thing, two 10 mils and it comes right off, super easy. Now head bolts. We're going back to the 14 mil wrench and there's just four nuts on top of the head. Crack them loose, take it off. Taking it off could be a little tricky because the push rods are pushed through at a funny angle. So you just gotta wiggle it and jiggle it and take off the jug in the head almost at the same time to get it to work. Okay, that's off. Look at this. So, it was sitting in there like this. If you look in there, see if it shows up on the camera a little bit, you can see it just like, it's shiny. There's no crosshatch, no nothing left. 
a little bit of a ridge. It looked like it had been sitting for a while because there is some rust spots and then someone broke it free and got it running, which is admirable. I like that. And now, okay, I'm gonna sit this like that. We're gonna give that a little quick hone. Look at these. Is that not the cutest little valves you've ever seen? Oh my goodness gracious. Huh, that's actually surprisingly heavy. <sighs> we'll make sure we didn't drop like too many O-rings. I don't, I didn't buy another kit of anything. Like, but, but, you know, like head gasket. Nope, just gonna reuse it. So, okay, next step, clean my hands. Clean th this area, which I should have done first. And then, uh, yeah, put some new piston rings on that. <laughs> and then give that the old hawk to it, and uh, yeah. I didn't have any honing fluid. So I just mixed some kerosene with some engine oil and that gave me the right viscosity and cleaned away the metal as I honed. I just repeated this process a few times until I was happy with the crosshatch and the ridges. Here you can see the chainsaw rings are exactly the same size and width, which is hilarious because they're gonna fit right in and give this cylinder a little more life. So I rolled on the new piston rings, and then after that, I gave everything a good clean, including all the mating surfaces that the cylinder head and the jug would touch. After that, we covered everything in brand new mortar oil, the piston, the rings, the cylinder, and the push rods to help everything slide together better and then we did the wiggle dance in reverse and made sure everything was seated and no O-rings had fallen out. I then tightened the head bolts back on in two stages. The first stage was pretty tight and the second stage was adequately tight. It's hard to tell with this little 3 8 wrench, but you don't need a lot of foot pounds to put the head back on a motorcycle. Then I made sure the engine would do two full rotations to make sure nothing was hitting anything inside of the cylinder and there was no spots in the rotation that was more firm than it should be. So, we hooked the old compression tester back up. It went from 60 to a whopping 90. Still like half of what it is from factory, but better than what it was. And I don't know, we'll see how it works. I'm happy with a few more PSI because that means it'll probably run again. Let's see, let's find out together. there we have it a success story 30 psi gained and uh, the rain's starting to really come down and it's 10 o'clock and I got to work tomorrow and of course the GoPro died so all that I needed to rebuild this entire thing was a 14 mil and a 10 mil that was it that was every bolt and an 18 mil for the spark plug I guess thanks for watching guys we'll see you next Tuesday thanks for sticking around have a good night